Cindy has three eighths yards of ribbon that she wants to cut into 27 equal parts to make hair ribbons. How long will each hair ribbon be? Because she wants to cut the three eighths yards into 27 equal parts or pieces, to determine how long each hair ribbon will be, we need to divide 3 eighths by 27, which gives us 3 eighths divided by 27. Because we're dividing a fraction by 27, it's helpful to write 27 as a fraction with a denominator of one, which gives us 3 eighths divided by 27 over one. From here, dividing by a fraction is equivalent to multiplying by the reciprocal the reciprocal of 27 over one is 1 27th, which means 3 eighths divided by 27 over one is equivalent to 3 eighths times 1 27th. Now we multiply. In the numerator we have three times one. In the denominator we have eight times 27. Before determining these products, we will now simplify out all the common factors other than one between the numerator and denominator. And there are a couple ways of showing this. If we recognize that three and 27 share a common factor of three, we can simplify the three to one because there's one, three, and three. And we can simplify the 27 to nine because there are nine threes and 27. If this is hard to follow, we can write 27 as three times nine, which would give us three times one all over eight times three times nine. Writing it this way, we can actually see the common factor of three between the numerator and the denominator. Three divided by three simplifies to one. Either way, when we multiply now, the fraction will be in simplified form. In the numerator, we have one times one, which is one. In the denominator, we have eight times nine, which is 72. And sometimes we'll also see the simplification shown here when we have the product of the two fractions. And now we know each hair ribbon will be one seventy second yards. Which means if this model represents three eighths yards, if we cut this length into 27 equal parts or pieces, each piece would be one seventy second yards. I hope you found this helpful.